Morocco does not recognize sexual harassment as a crime. Amina Lemrini is working in partnership with civil society groups to change this by proposing legislation to protect the legal rights of women employees. Alors, euh, vous savez, le harcèlement sexuel dans nos pays est un sujet tabou. In our country, sexual harassment is taboo. Women don't speak of it very much. Then we were presented with an occasion to do something about changing this. Alors, les premières personnes à être impliquées étaient des ouvrières d'une usine de textile. One day, a group of women textile factory workers came to our association and told us that 200 to 250 of them were on strike. Not for reasons of salary or other reasons, but because they were being sexually harassed by their boss. Alors, juste après, nous allons, nous, nous sommes allés euh, chercher euh, des alliés. Our next step was identifying allies for the campaign. The first ally was the Moroccan Union of Labour, of which the women were a part. In cooperation with this union and the women workers, we launched the campaign. What we wanted to do was amend the laws to protect women from sexual harassment, so it was necessary to work in the legislature. We identified two texts of law related to this issue. One is the Labour Code, and the other is the Penal Code. D'une part, le Code du Travail, et d'autre part, le Code Pénal. Alors, nous avons saisi l'opportunité. We seized the opportunity that the texts of the two laws were open to reform. This provided us with a chance to launch the campaign for proposing amendments to the Labour Code and the Penal Code. The first thing we did was to use the media to inform the public by ensuring that the media began to talk about this phenomenon. For us, this was the beginning. Alors, ce que nous avons fait le plus, de plus intéressant au début, c'était de faire deux études. The next thing we did that was most interesting was to conduct two studies. We first launched a research study to learn more about the psychology of this phenomena. The second study was on judicial research to examine Moroccan legislation concerning sexual harassment and violence against women in general. Alors, la deuxième étape était de, uh, the second stage was to organize a meeting to present the results of the research studies. We invited the Minister of Labor, the Minister of Justice, and the Minister of Women's Affairs. We also invited unions, human rights organizations, penal law experts, and social law specialists. This was a way of making sure that when we presented our proposition, it would be viewed as credible. Alors, la troisième étape était de faire le plaidoyer envers les deux ministères. The third stage was to advocate to the two ministers. We drafted a memorandum with the proposed amendments to the Labor Code and the Penal Code. The memorandum was signed by a coalition of nine associations, six women's associations, two unions, and one human rights association, giving more weight to our memorandum. We sent it to the Minister of Justice and to the Minister of Labor. The third step was to follow through with this work at the parliamentary level. We organized a dinner meeting with heads of parliamentary committees and presented and defended our memorandum for amending the two codes. Alors, le résultat, alors, au niveau du code de, du travail, le projet Concerning amendments to the labor legislation, the code now contains a definition of sexual harassment. This has been accepted by the executive branch of the government. However, the amendments have yet to be debated and adopted in the parliament. Concerning amendments to the Penal Code, they have not yet been adopted by the government. However, the Ministry of Justice has now acknowledged sexual harassment as a crime. 
In the next step, the amendments must be brought to the executive branch of the government, and then to the parliament. What's interesting is that the proposed changes to both codes include our suggested amendments. Today, after seven years, the work is not yet finished. The Parliament has yet to validate the two sets of amendments. However, we believe that since there is a greater understanding of the issues of sexual harassment, this is already a victory for us. We are the dreamers, and I believe all human beings must dream for the best. The best is something that always motivates us to reach higher and to continue our struggle.